Hi everyone, it's Bridget with Bees Alter Designs. I'm coming to you with another project. Um, this is using the Graphic 45 Couture Collection. Um, I had this mirror for, gosh, like a year now, and I'll insert a picture of what it used to look like. And then this is what I've done to it um, with that paper line. Sorry, I'm, I was just thinking. So, um, I think this came out so awesome. I am so happy with the way this came out. So, let me just move closer. And I do apologize if, the, if this is shaky and I'm moving around. But it's big and I couldn't figure out any other way to film it besides holding my camera. So, this is up on legs. It actually does have legs. And I don't want to tilt it because none of this is actually glued down. I just kind of like put it there for the effects. Um, you know, for the sake of this, this video. So then I took some, um, flat trim that I had, this lace trim, and I had gotten, um, some Heidi Swipe sprays from Michaels and I used it on the trim to color it this color because the paper line kind of has that orangey color. I think it's the peach spray from Heidi Swap. And then I had these flat back pearls um, trim in my stash. Um, they're the square ones. And of course I gessoed it and painted it all black. And then I used a piece of the paper line to put that in each of these two trays. And then I Mod Podged it with the glossy um, Mod Podge so that it would be, you know, I could put things in here. Um, and then I just put that that trim I had in my stash around it. This is that pearly like trim. So I put that around it. I, I don't know if I'm quite happy with that, but the effect of it shining was really what I wanted. Um, like I said, these aren't these are just sitting in here, and so are these, just to kind of like get an idea. Oh, look, a piece of styrofoam. Um. So, and then these are just sitting here, too. These are just some diamonds, because, you know, a girl's best friend are diamonds. Um, anyways, so on this side, I had just colored up some flowers. These are from Sawcrafter Store, and these are um, the Michaels $2 bin flowers. The colors just kind of went with it. I did a, um, a little fan here. And just cut out, you know, I did a lot of fussy cutting with the paper line. And and the paper line was just so awesome to work with. And I don't know if, if the lighting is... Let me try turning this off, see if it'll get brighter. I had the light on to take the pictures. Okay, so... And then I found this furry stuff. You know, it's kind of like one of those um, those things you wear around your neck. I forgot what they're called but it's furry, and I got this at Walmart. I just happened to be over there, and I was looking in the trim section, and they had that, so I wanted to use that to drape it around here, kind of like, um, I want to call it a cobra, but it's, I'm not sure. Anyways, um, I got that, and then here is, this is from Fernley Designs, the actual piece of wood, and what it was, was it was one of these made in Ireland, so I just stuck one of the girl. I f cut out one of the girls and I stuck, um, I glued her on there. And then, of course, I glued the, you can't really see the poles, but I glued them three different colors. I glued them black and that orangey color. And then there's, there's cream underneath here, like this color. But I put some um, rhinestone, black rhinestones around the, this part on both of the poles. And then up here, I just fussy cutted some of the um, stamps out of the uh, collection and the couture um, writing here. And this is a bling that I had in my stash. And then some pearls I just had in my stash, and I draped them there. This is, I don't know what paper line this is, but I thought it went very well. So I used that to go around the mirror. And I did paint this part of the mirror in that part. Um, and then I used those flat pearls again, or not pearls, um, that mesh, I, th I think it's mesh bling. 
um, but I put that around the whole mirror just to give it some pop. I distressed it with, I believe it's weathered wood, um, Tim Holtz, around the edges. And I also did distress the edges too. I sanded them a little. And then the mirror, I just added some of these, um, some of these from the paper line I cut out. Um, you know, this one says classy and chic and gorgeous and stylish. And then I just, with the same um, lace trim, I just made a, like a little fan to go there. And I used my Cricut to, um, to cut out beauty. Um, and then I used some stickles to make it all shiny and glittery. And then here are some um, perfume bottles from Sawcrafter store. And I just used, I, I painted them with acrylic paint and then I just fussy cutted some things out of the paper line to make it look like labels. And I kind of laid them there. I did another fussy cutting here of some words from the paper line. And then over here, um, this is um, from the paper line. I put that there like a film strip. I fussy cut her out and I did some stickling on her. I think she's just gorgeous. And some random flowers. These are saw crafters. These are from the $2 bins and I believe that's Wild Orchid Craft. And I colored them. Um, these two I didn't. They were from the $2 bin at Michael's. And then I made another fan back there and I put some uh, more of the stamps there. Another $2 flower from Michael's and um, just a daisy the color match so I stuck that back there there is the hat is kind of glued on kind of not I I have a little bit of um, glue on it so it'll just stay in place but there is a peacock feather that I had gotten from Alicia she's Alicia glitz and more on YouTube thank you Alicia I just I, I love those peacock feathers they're beautiful and it goes so well with this paper line the hat I had made out of, I used one of these, let me back up, I used one of these styrofoam balls, it was a whole ball, I cut it in half, and I used felt to make the hat, and then I had some of this, and I believe Alicia sent me this um, material too, it's it's just gorgeous, it's like, um, it's like um, a chiffon material, and I used that to go around the top of the hat, and then I had this in my stash, so I just put that there for more bling effect. I fussy cut the girl, if you can see back here, there's a girl here. I fussy cut her out of the paper line, and I um, put um, stickles on her dress also. I just happened to have stickles of this color, so I put that on there, and she's holding a feather. Um, I think that's all that I've done. Um, the back is just plain. I didn't do anything to the back. I'd hate to turn this around, but um, I'll show you. See the back, I didn't do anything. I just left it plain, um, nothing big. And of course, there's the feet. So, um, boa. That's what that is. It's a boa, not a cobra. I knew it was some snake thing. I mean, really, I, I, it's a boa. <laughs> that's so silly. Um, so anyway, so I'm kind of as back as I can be, so, um, let me just stand up and see if I can get further. So that is my, um, altered project, and, um, I hope you all like it, and thanks for checking out my channel and viewing my video. I do appreciate everybody, and thanks to all my new subscribers.